Hey guys, welcome back on the virtual Pilates mat. I hope you all had a good week so far. We're going to start off with a nice gentle warm up lying down today, something different. And then the class is going to cater to all levels. So I hope you can all enjoy it. So we're going to start straight away coming back to lie down on your back on the mat and just straighten out your legs with your arms alongside you and just close your eyes here for a moment. So we're starting the class a bit differently today in a bit of a different position and I just want you to take this moment to let go of any tension in your body. So just let the shoulders relax, let the arms feel heavy, let go of any tension in your hip joints and let your legs feel heavy as well. Just tuck your chin slightly so there's some length at the back of the neck and close your eyes if you haven't already. And then just place your hands on your belly. So you're going to just bring your attention to your breath right from the get-go here. So take a nice deep breath in. Feel your belly rise. And as you exhale, feel your tummy drop back down. And again, deep breath in, really trying to fill the lungs with air. And exhale. Feel your tummy drop back down. We're going to do one more of these. Deep breath in. And out. Now you're going to shift your hands up to the sides of your rib cage, and we're going to just do a little bit of breathing here. So I just want you to hold your rib cage with your hands, and as you breathe in, you want to feel your rib cage push out sideways, pushing your hands away. And as you breathe out, you'll feel your rib cage relax back down. So it's almost like you're breathing sideways into your rib cage. And again, breathing in and out. Really feel your rib cage expand. Try and actively move your rib cage with your breathing. One more breathing in and out. And just relax your arms back alongside you. You can open your eyes. And we're going to start our warm up here. So we're just gently going to take our head from side to side. Just gently rocking the head as if you're shaking your head no. Just let your head feel supported by the ground. If your head can't comfortably reach the ground, then place it on a folded up towel or a little cushion. But you want your head to be supported, yeah? So don't let your head be hanging in the air. We don't want any tension on the neck. And coming back to the center. And you're gonna lift your shoulders up towards your ears and then reach down towards your ankles. And reach your shoulders up towards your ears and down towards your ankles and let's collect, connect rather our movement with our breath so as you inhale draw the shoulders up and as you exhale reach away and we're just going to do three more shoulders coming up and reaching away two more inhale up exhale down last one inhale and exhale down now we're going to take our arms up overhead so you're going to inhale, draw that belly button in and as you exhale, take both arms up overhead to touch the ground above you and inhale, come back down and exhale up and touch the ground if you can and inhale down and just continue with this movement, just loosening up the shoulders ever so slightly and just being aware of that belly drawing in and then bring some awareness of course to your rib cage so as you take your arms up make sure your rib cage doesn't pop up off the mat keep the whole rib cage melting down on the mat below you and now we're going to circle sweep our arms up sideways and overhead and back down so you might not be able to keep your arms on the ground you're going to try to sweep your arms up along the ground but if your chest is quite tight your arms might be up in the air a bit that's okay just trying to open up the chest as much as you can. Aware of that neutral spine, aware of that belly button drawing in. Just going to do two more. Keep breathing. Don't hold the breath. Last one. Coming back and relax. Good. Going to bend our legs. And just bring that right knee in towards your chest. And you're going to do little hip circles here with this leg. Just gently warming up that hip. 
getting a bit of movement deep into that hip joint. But remember, just do what feels good, do what feels nice in your body, especially with a warm up. It might feel a bit stiff and tight if it's your first proper movement for the day, but you wanna do what feels nice. So if you need to make the movement quite small, then do that, that's not a problem. Just gonna do two more circles. Last one, now keep this knee drawn in towards your chest, straighten out the other leg, and we're just gonna hold it here, really squeeze that knee in like you're trying to get your knee up towards your armpit. If you wanna hold on your shins and draw that leg in a bit more, you can. And we're just gonna take three nice deep breaths here, in and out, and in and out last one in and out good you're gonna keep your leg here and just interlace your fingers behind your thigh and we're just gonna warm up the hip and the backs of the legs a little bit more so you're gonna straighten the knee and bend and straighten and bend so again remember we're just warming up so you'll feel a bit of a stretch at the back of the leg here but it shouldn't be anything too uncomfortable just straightening the leg as far as you can. If you're feeling a bit of discomfort in your back or somewhere else in the body, maybe bend that other leg. It might feel a bit more comfortable for you. Just gonna do two more here. Last one, and then we're gonna bend the leg and do a few ankle circles here. Just loosening up the ankle a bit. And let's reverse our circles on this side and place the foot back down. Gonna bring the other leg up, hold onto that leg, and again, just doing some gentle little hip circles. Just opening up the hip. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. Good, keep breathing. Just gonna do three more, two, Last one, draw that knee in towards you and you're gonna straighten out the bottom leg and then squeeze that knee in a little bit higher if you can, up towards your armpit and take some nice deep breaths here. Trying to draw the belly button in, not over arching the lower back. Last breath and gently relax, interlacing your fingers behind you and we're just gonna straighten and bend the leg again. Feel a nice stretch at the back of the leg and the hamstrings there. Make sure here that your chin is tucked, that you're not sticking out your chin, but rather creating nice length in the neck, at the back of the neck. Gonna just do two more. Last one. Bend the knee. I'm gonna just do some ankle circles here. Again, remember if it's uncomfortable, bend that other knee. And reverse your circles on this side. And relax, placing both feet on the floor, hip distance apart. Just gonna bring your arms out, shoulder height, and turn the palms face downwards. You're gonna inhale belly to spine and exhale, just drop both knees over to the side and inhale back up. So we're not doing a specific exercise here, still just warming up the spine. So don't be too phased about your pelvis lifting and moving about, just doing a little gentle twist. So just let your knees fold sideways, just as what's far, just going as far as what's comfortable for you. Just gently loosening up the spine a bit, opening up the hips a bit. Good. Just gonna do one more on each side. And then coming back up to center and relax. Good, we're gonna start with a few exercises now in this position. So feet and knees are hip distance apart, bringing your hands to your hip bones for our trusty heel slides that I always like to incorporate. I really like this exercise. It's one of the basics, really a beginner stepping stone in Pilates, but it's really important. And I like doing it in a class just to kind of ground you and bring your 
focus back to where your spine is, if you're in your neutral spine, if your pelvis is still unsteady, and concentrating on keeping that activation with your breathing. So you're gonna inhale, belly button in, squeeze the pelvic floor. As you exhale, just slide your right leg away from you, and inhale, bring it back up. And other side, exhale, slide the leg away from you, and inhale, back up. And we're just going to alternate our legs from side to side. And like I said, this exercise I generally incorporate just for awareness really. So really bring your awareness to your hip bones underneath your hands and try and focus on keeping your hips still and steady, especially as you transfer your weight from one foot to the other when you're switching sides. Try and keep the hips as still as you can. Try and not let your lower back arch. You're trying to keep a neutral spine throughout the exercise. Rib cage relaxed, belly button drawn inwards. Gonna just do one more on the left. If you're not on the left, just carry on until you get there and finish off on that side. Then we're gonna take our arms up to face the ceiling. So we're gonna do the same exercise with the feet and our arms are gonna go overhead. So inhale, belly button in. As you exhale, straighten one leg. Take both arms up overhead and inhale, back up. Other side, exhale, straighten the other leg. Arms go up overhead and inhale, back up. So just continue with this movement, alternating legs. And just be aware of your rib cage, of your lower back. Everything staying still and steady in a nice neutral position. So you're going to continue with this as option A. Especially if you struggle with any pain in your back, keep doing this one. Otherwise, what you're going to do is come up into a double tabletop and you're going to extend your legs and your arms. So this is a bit more of a challenging version with your legs up in the air from a double tabletop. All right, make sure that belly button stays drawn inwards. No arch in the lower back, no doming of the tummy muscles. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so this is the more difficult option. Otherwise, your feet are on the mat and you're just sliding one leg out at a time. We're just going to do three more. Keep breathing, keep that belly button drawn inwards. Two more. Last one. Come back up and if you're in your double tabletop, slowly lower one leg down, other leg down, and relax your arms. Good. Just again, windshield wiper the legs a little bit from side to side. <clears throat> All right, coming back to the center. So now we're going to do a version of a heel slide, but we're going to do both legs at the same time. So you're going to slide out your right leg, keep it there, slide out the left leg and then bring the one leg back and the other leg. So hands alongside your palms face downwards, inhale, belly button in. As you exhale, slide your right leg out, inhale, slide your left leg out, exhale, bring the other leg back up and inhale the other leg. So you're just alternating, sliding your one leg out, other leg out, and then bringing one leg up, other leg up. So just aware here of what's happening in your lower back and your hips. So continue with this one, otherwise for the more difficult version, coming up and you're going to straighten one leg at 45 degrees, straighten the other leg, bring one leg back, other leg back. All right. So you either version one or version two. Version two is very much uh, a lot more difficult rather than version one. So only do the one that feels good for you. The most important thing is that your lower back isn't arching, especially if you're doing version two with your legs in the air. All right, even with version one, when you straighten your legs, you don't want to let your hips tilt upwards in your back arch. Try and keep a neutral spine. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. We're just gonna do four more sets, either option one or option two. If you're doing option two and it's quite difficult, you can even just point your legs up towards the ceiling or at a slight angle. The more difficult you wanna make it, the more increased of an angle you have at your legs. All right. 
and relax, bringing the knees in towards the chest. My clicking ankles. Good. And relax, bringing one foot down, other foot down. We're gonna go into a bridge. So you're gonna inhale. First, just check that your knees and feet are hip distance apart, arms alongside you, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, belly button in and tuck the tailbone. As you exhale, you're gonna curl up, vertebra by vertebra, lifting your hips up nice and high. Inhale at the top, make sure your tailbone is tucked and your belly button is in. Squeeze your bum as you inhale, and then exhale, curl down slowly, vertebra by vertebra, till you reach the bottom, and then find your neutral spine. We're just gonna do one more, and then we're gonna combine it with the other movement. So bring your hips all the way up to the top. Check that your, your chin is tucked here as well, and then slowly rolling down. Good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do one bridge, come down and then go into a little crunch. So we're gonna tuck our tailbone as we inhale for our bridge, exhale, lifting the hips up all the way. Inhale at the top, squeeze the bum, exhale, rolling down. And as you inhale, bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees open and arms go overhead. Exhale, float the arms up, coming up into a little crunch. And then inhale, come down. Sweep the arms down, legs come back up to neutral. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, exhale, rolling up. Squeeze the bum at the top, make sure your tailbone is tucked. And exhale, roll down. As you reach the bottom, soles of the feet come together, knees open, arms go overhead as you inhale. Exhale, coming up, reaching up into a crunch, draw that belly button in, and then rolling down, arms go overhead and alongside you, lifting the legs back up again. Inhale, belly button in, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, rolling up into a bridge, squeeze the bum as you inhale, and exhale, roll back down. Open up the legs, arms go overhead. As you inhale and exhale, lifting up into a crunch, only lifting up as high as you can. If you can just lift up a little bit, that's okay and then come back down, arms go overhead, sweep around, lifting straight up into your bridge. Keep that belly button drawn inwards and the bum squeezing, roll back down, legs open up, arms go overhead and we're coming into our little crunch again. Shoulders away from the ears, going back down. Last bridge, lifting up, Squeeze the bum, tailbone tucked. Exhale, rolling down. And now we're gonna do a few crunches. So open the legs up. If this is very uncomfortable for your hips, then just stay in your neutral position, not a problem. Arms overhead. And now we're gonna do a few crunches here. So inhale, belly button in. Exhale, lifting up. Reach towards your feet. And then inhale, come back down. Arms go overhead, rib cage stays down. Exhale, coming up and reach. And inhale down. And exhale, up and reach. And inhale down. Good, can I just do three more? Exhale, up and reach. Belly button in. Gonna do two more. Reaching towards your toes. Last one, up and hold it here if you can. Try and lift up a little bit higher. Five, four, belly button in. Three, two, one, slowly down. Take the arms up overhead and just straighten out your legs one at a time. Good. All right, bring the legs back up one at a time and bringing your arms back alongside you. So we're gonna go into a little set of the hundreds, which you guys, most of you guys know, it's these little pulsing exercises. So we're gonna do a few versions here as well. They're gonna get more difficult as we go. So if the next version is too difficult, just stick to the one before that. All right, really do the one that you can do with an activated core without an arch in the back. So we're gonna start with a nice simple one. Check that you're in a neutral spine. 
Inhale, belly button in, and as you exhale, lift your head, your shoulders, your rib cage, reaching towards your ankles. And we're gonna do little pulses, yeah. So pulsing up and down with the arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. Good. Keep the belly button drawn inwards. Shoulders away from the ears. And keep breathing straight, strong arms, no floppy arms. And if this feels good, you can either stay here, otherwise lift one leg, other leg into a double tabletop. And we're gonna pulse here. So keep breathing, keep the belly button drawn inwards. Good, and pulsing one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, keep going, keep lifted if you can. Remember your feet are either in the air or on the floor, doing the one that feels good, but try and keep your upper body lifted. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly relax the upper body. One leg, other leg. Good. All right, so we're gonna do the next one of that as well. So now we're either going to, I'm gonna show you the two options before we start. Option A is lifting one leg at a time. I'll tell you when to change. Option B is from a double tabletop, straightening one leg away from you at a time. All right, so we're gonna do those two. So just first take your head from side to side. If your neck is maybe feeling a little bit tense, all right, coming back to center. So inhale, belly to spine. As you exhale, lift your head, your shoulders, your rib cage, reaching towards your ankles into a little crunch. So option A is to lift one leg here. All right, option B is coming into a double tabletop and straightening that leg. All right, so we're gonna start by pulsing our arms again. And one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keeping the belly drawn inwards, keeping length in the neck and the spine. Remember, this is option A. Option B is one leg straightened. Keep breathing. We're gonna do another ten here, and then we're gonna switch sides. So ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And if you're in option A, just switch legs. Keep pulsing, keep lifted. If you're in option B, you're just straightening the other leg away from you now. And keep breathing. Keep the belly button drawn inwards and pulsing straight, strong arms. Should feel a bit of a burn in your belly. Good, keep going, keep breathing. Don't hold the breath. Remember to do the option that feels good for you. And we're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax the body, relax the legs. Good. Just take your head from side to side again. Just letting go of anything you may be built up there, any tension. All right. We're going to go into an oblique crunch. So you're going to cross your right ankle over your left knee and bring your left um, your left fingers behind your head with your right hand in a bit of a low V. So this is option A again, coming up, reaching that elbow up towards your knee. If you wanna make the exercise a bit more difficult, lift the leg, and we're gonna do it here with the lifted leg. All right, so inhale, belly to spine. As you exhale, lift the head, the shoulders, the ribcage, and twist that elbow towards the knee, and inhale back down. Slow and controlled, keep the belly drawn inwards. And again, think of twisting the whole rib cage. If your legs are lifted, same thing. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. Just choosing the option that feels good. That's still a bit of a challenge, but no aches or pains anywhere. I'm gonna still do four more. Three more, exhale up. Inhale down, twisting the whole rib cage. Two more. Last one. Coming back. 
and crossing the legs, switching sides. Again, switching sides with your hands as well. Option A, inhale belly to spine, exhale, twist and lift, opposite elbow to knee. So you're either doing this one, otherwise if you want a little bit more of a challenge, lifting those legs up into the air. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. And again, really thinking of twisting the whole upper body, not just cheating, getting that elbow to cross towards the knee, but let your whole upper body twist. Keep squeezing the pelvic floor. Let's not forget about the pelvic floor. We're gonna just do two more. Last one. And gently lower one leg down, other leg down, and relax. Good, gonna roll over onto your side. Just to push yourself up and come over onto all fours. So we're gonna do a few little exercises here. Check that your hands are directly beneath your shoulders. Fingers are spread. Knees are directly beneath your hip bones. So we're gonna tuck our toes, inhale belly button in. And as you exhale, you're gonna push out of the shoulders, draw the belly button in and lift the knees. And inhale, release the knees back down. And exhale, lift just to hover just off the mat and inhale back down and again exhale lift and inhale down really try and squeeze your pelvic floor while you do this exhale lift shoulders are strong inhale down and again exhale lift and hold so option a is either just to hold it here or to lift and lower. Option B is we're gonna go into a twist. So inhale, belly button in, exhale, swivel on the feet, twisting the knees to one side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, center. So more challenging version here is to twist your knees. Otherwise, you're lifting and lowering your knees like we did in the start. All right, so choosing the one that feels good for you. Keep that belly button drawn inwards and keep pushing the mat away from you. Shoulders stay strong. Gonna do one more on each side. Last one. Coming back to center. Gently relax and sit back. Good. Just to release the wrists a bit. And we're gonna go straight back into this position again. So coming back up onto all fours. We're gonna do a little exercise to target our bum muscles here. So check that you're not collapsing in the lower back. Draw that belly button in. Push the mat away from you. You're gonna inhale, activate a little bit more. And as you exhale, you're gonna lift your right leg up and out to the side. And inhale back down. We're just gonna work the right leg here. So lift up and out to the side and inhale back down. So just keep moving this one leg. Try not to shift your weight too much in your arms. So both arms should stay, um, should stay straight and strong. If this is not too challenging for you and you'd like to make it more difficult, you're gonna extend the opposite arm away from you. So you're gonna extend the left arm up and away and then lift this leg out to the side. All right, so choose which one feels good for you. Remember, you wanna be able to do the exercise well. You also wanna challenge yourself if you can, if there are no aches or pains anywhere. Just gonna do three more. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. If your arm is lifted, think of reaching out of those fingertips. Last one. And gently relax it back on the feet and just take the tops of the hands together. And of course, we're gonna do the other side. So coming back up onto all fours. 
hands directly beneath the shoulders again knees directly beneath the hips lift that belly button in and as you exhale lift that left leg up towards the side and inhale back down again making sure that you're not bending in any in either of your elbows try and keep the weight quite equal there and again if you'd like to make this a bit more challenging reach your right hand your opposite arm away from you and then do it lifting the leg with the arm reaching in front of you just challenging your balance a little bit more keeping the belly button drawn inwards and keep that supporting shoulder strong keep breathing don't hold the breath I'm gonna just do four more three two last one and gently coming down to lie on your tummy good so you can just rest your forehead on your hands and then make sure you tuck your chin so there's some length at the back of your neck we're going to start with our legs so first draw that belly button in and tuck the tailbone so send the tailbone to the back of the room i'm just going to lift my head so that you can hear me better but i want you to rest your head on your hands <laughs> all right so you're inhaling and you're active as you exhale you're going to lift the right leg up off the mat and inhale back down exhale lift the left leg up inhale down make sure the whole time that you're trying to send your tailbone to the back of the room so you're not arching too much in the lower back and then if this feels quite easy for you and you have a very comfortable lower back you're going to lift both legs up at the same time keep the belly button drawn inwards and then really actively squeeze your bum squeeze your bum and try and use your bum muscles to lift your legs rather than your lower back squeeze the pelvic floor I'm just going to do four more so you shouldn't feel pain in your lower back if you do then just lift one leg at a time last one and relax good we're going to do the same thing with our upper body so you're going to reach your arms out in front of you and look down towards the mat inhale belly button in and as you exhale first just lift your right arm up off the mat and inhale back down and left arm up off the mat and inhale down. so again we're just starting by alternating sides keep the belly button drawn inwards and then if this is easy you're going to lift both arms at the same time so your head will be lifted your chin is tucked so you're not looking in front of you but rather looking at the mat below you shoulder blades draw down your back as your arms lift trying to lift both arms if you can otherwise one at a time we're just going to do three more belly button in two more last one and gently relax okay we're going to do one more exercise in this position and you can choose again between two so you're either going to lift opposite arm and leg or you're going to lift both arms and both legs at the same time so i'm going to start just by showing you option a first so tuck your chin looking down inhale belly to spine as you exhale lift right arm left leg and inhale down exhale other side and inhale down so you're alternating lifting opposite arm and leg otherwise if you're feeling strong lifting both arms both legs and lowering down again so lifting and lowering keep that belly button drawn inwards and think of reaching out of the tips of the fingers out of the toes 
to opposite ends of the room, looking down at the mat so you're not crunching the back of your neck. We're just going to do three more or four more if you're alternating. Good. And finishing off. Coming back down, bring your hands alongside your rib cage. Draw that belly button in as you push yourself up. Slowly coming back to sit on the heels and just stretch out the back of it. Take a few breaths, yeah. lift up and you're going to come to lie on your side so we're going to start lying down on this arm if you have a pillow or a towel or something you'd like to place over here you can legs are bent check that your feet are in line with your spine and draw this top hip away from you all right so we're going to start just by lifting and lowering this top leg so inhale, lift the belly button, exhale, lift the leg, and inhale down. And exhale, lift, inhale down. So this is option A over here. Just gently lifting and lowering a bent leg. Otherwise, to make it slightly more difficult, straightening the legs and doing it with both legs straight. Making sure that your hips stay in a nice straight line, stacked up on top of one another. That the top hip doesn't crash in towards your rib cage. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. Good. Should feel a little bit of activation in this bum of the top leg. Trying to keep the knee and the toes face forward, not facing up towards the ceiling or down towards the ground. Now whichever one you're doing, on the next one, you're going to lift and hold. So either with a bent leg or straight leg, you're going to inhale, bring the leg forward and exhale, take the leg back. So you guys all know this exercise as well. And you know that the most important thing is not to arch your back as you take that leg behind you. So really think of connecting that last rib down towards your hip bone, either doing this with straight legs or with bent legs. You want to really try and keep your hips and your pelvis still and steady and your lower back still and steady. Keep the belly drawn in, keep the pelvic floor active and keep breathing. Choose to do the one that feels good, that you know you can do with quite a bit of control, but you're still working. Gonna do last one. Coming back to center. And now option A is to straighten out this top leg. With option B, your leg is straight and the bottom leg is straight. We're gonna do little circles here. So option A is the bottom leg is bent to support you. Option B is just straightening that leg out. And just doing little circles with this top leg. Keep breathing, keep the belly button drawn inwards. And let's reverse your circles. Really trying to reach away with that leg. Gonna just do five, four, three, two, one, and gently relax. Good, coming up onto your shoulder. Now we're gonna do some um, side lifts. So option A here is just to strengthen the shoulder. So you're either pushing up and out of the shoulder only, or you're gonna lift and lower. The body all right so inhale belly button in either just working the shoulder otherwise as you exhale lift the hips up and inhale down and exhale lift inhale down if you want to make this more difficult straighten your legs one foot out in front of the other and exhale lift inhale down exhale lift 
Inhale down. So do the one that you can do while keeping the rib cage lifted and the supporting shoulder strong. Keeping that belly button drawn in and squeeze the bum a little bit. We're going to do three more. Two more. And our last one, we're going to lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Hello, puppy. Hello. Sleepy puppy. We're going to go over to the other side. So starting by lying down on your side, bending the knees. Hello. <laughs> Let's just move out of the way. It's always welcome on the mat, but just for short periods at a time. So legs are bent. I'm just going to unclip this so I can lie on my side properly. All right. Resting the head on your arm or again on a towel if you have one. So you're going to inhale here, belly button in. As you exhale, lift that top leg. And inhale, come back down. And exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Again, remember, making it more challenging just by straightening out the legs. So doing the one that feels good for you. Should feel your bum working. So really actually squeeze that bum. Actively work it. Concentrate on keeping the hips still and stacked up on top of one another. Trying not to let the leg turn out. Keep the knees and the toes face forward, whether your legs are bent or straight. It's not a problem. Good. And the next one we're gonna lift and hold. Inhale and sli uh, slowly bring that leg forward. And exhale, taking the leg out behind you. And inhale, floating the leg forward. And exhale, going back. Really focusing on keeping that last hip connected, that last hip, your only hip, connected to the last rib. So not letting the lower back arch. Again, can do this with straight legs. Hello, have a puppy again. You can't bite this. Floating the leg back and forth, keeping the pelvic floor active and the belly button drawn in. Just gonna do four more, keeping space in the side of the body. Two more. Last one. All right, keep that leg lifted. Option one, straightening the top leg out and doing little circles. Option B is the bottom leg is straight as well. All right, so doing the circles with either bent bottom leg or straight bottom leg, trying to keep your hips still and steady so you're not rocking back and forth on the hip bones, reaching that leg away from you. And let's reverse your circles over here. Keep breathing. Keeping the belly drawn in. Good. Just going to do five, four, three, two, one. And gently relax. Good. Coming up onto your elbow. And again here, either just working into the shoulder, otherwise you can join in for some hip lifts. So inhale, belly button in, and as you exhale, push out of that shoulder, lift the hips up, and inhale, coming back down. And exhale, lift up. Try and keep both hips face forward if you can, and keep that belly button drawn in with. If you want to make it more challenging again, straighten your legs out, one leg in front of the other, and lift the body up with straight legs. Okay, keep breathing. Try not to hold the breath. Just going to do three more. Two more. 
Last one, lift and hold. Keep the belly button drawn in and keep breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Gently relax, good. Pushing yourself up and you're gonna come all the way around to lie on your back once again. So get there however feels comfortable for you. If you'd like to hold onto your leg to roll yourself down, you can. Now we're gonna lift our legs up to the sky. So lift one leg up, other leg up, and then straighten the legs. So you only have to straighten the legs as much as your hamstrings allow. So if your legs are a bit tight and your knees are a bit bent, that's okay. But either way, you're gonna turn your legs outwards and pull your toes back. So you're gonna turn your knees and your feet to face the side. You're gonna inhale belly button in and as you exhale, you're gonna open your legs out sideways and inhale, squeeze them back together and then really squeeze your thighs together. Exhale, open. Inhale, bring your legs back and squeeze your thighs together. Exhale, open. Inhale, back together. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. Just gonna do two more like this, squeeze. Last one, come back and squeeze. And then turn your legs back to neutral to face forward again. Inhale, same thing. Exhale, open the legs. Inhale, come back and squeeze your thighs together. Exhale, open. Inhale, come back and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, open. Inhale, come back and squeeze the thighs together. Gonna do four more. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. Try and keep a neutral spine. Trying not to let the lower back arch. Two more, really squeeze the thighs together. Last one, squeeze and we're gonna squeeze for five, four, keep breathing, three, two, one and gently release hugging your knees in towards your chest and we're just going to do one more exercise here so straightening your legs out and turning them out again you're going to inhale and as you exhale bend the knees pull the toes back then as you inhale you're going to push through the heels of your feet up towards the ceiling and squeeze your thighs together Exhale, bend like you're doing a plie, but in the air. Good. And then really squeeze the thighs together as you reach those heels up towards the ceiling and pull the toes back. Remember, if your legs don't straighten completely, that's okay. But really try and squeeze as much as you can. I'm gonna just do four more. Keep that belly button drawn inwards. Keep the belly button in and the pelvic floor active. Two more. Last one. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Gently bend the knees, lower one leg down, other leg down and relax. Good, you're gonna cross your left leg over your right leg. Bring your arms up to shoulder height and drop both knees over towards the right, twisting towards the left, looking over the left shoulder, and just coming into a little twist. Trying to just relax into the movement a little bit. Inhale, draw the belly button in to lift your legs back up. Uncross the legs and straighten the spine. Going to do the other side. So cross the right leg over the left, dropping both legs over to the left, actively rotating your ribcage to the right and looking over the right shoulder. Again, just trying to let go in this position. Just release any tension in the spine and the lower back. Take a few nice deep breaths. 
coming back to center, drawing the belly button in and crossing the legs. And we're gonna sit up for a little bit of a stretch. So get yourself gently up into a seated position. And we're gonna start by straightening your legs out in front of you. If you need to sit on a pillow, you can pull the flesh away there to find your sitting bones. And first, just finding some nice length in the spine. So either just stay here, otherwise it feels good. Reaching all the way forwards to touch your toes if you can, or hands on your shins is fine. Remember, we're not thinking of a head to knees with a rounded back, but rather lengthening the spine and thinking of getting your chest towards your shins. Trying to create space, a nice spacious spine. And just slowly start bringing your attention back to your breathing. Try and deepen your breathing a little bit if you can. Gently releasing, coming out of the stretch, bringing the soles of your feet together, letting your knees fall out to the side. And again, either just staying here, otherwise leaning forwards a bit. Again, just to open up the hips a bit. Might feel a nice stretch in your inner thigh. Breathing. Gently coming up and out of the stretch and you're gonna loosely cross your legs if you can. Otherwise, if your feet are a bit further out in front of you, that's okay. And we're gonna lean forward into a nice stretch. You should feel a nice stretch in your bum muscle over here. stretch of it. Shouldn't be horribly uncomfortable. Slowly coming up and let's switch sides. Other leg in front and again first just find some length and then gently reaching forwards to stretch out the bum muscle. Hope you guys are all managing okay with our extended lockdown. I think we've all gotten quite used to it now already actually. And I know there's quite a lot of people struggling so let's just keep them in mind. We're very lucky if we're able to Stay at home and comfortably do Pilates classes. Gently coming back up and we're going to just end off with a little bit of a breathing exercise. So sit however is comfortable for you, legs crossed, out in front of you, open out wide, doesn't matter, must just feel good. And then find some length in the spine and close the eyes. So I want you now to first visualize breathing into the top parts of your lungs, right by your shoulders. So try and just use that part of your lungs. Let your belly just feel soft and relaxed. So it's quite short, shallow breath. Just your chest is rising and falling. Just breathing into the upper half of your lungs. And then deepen the breathing all the way to the bottom of the lungs. So really feel your whole lung full with air, feel your ribcage expand, feel your belly rise as you inhale. And feel it relax back down as you exhale. 
Really trying to take the deepest breaths you possibly can, trying to completely fill your lungs to their full capacity each time. Keeping length in the spine, imagining growing up taller out of the crown of your head. And I want you to just focus on your breathing. And then maybe use this moment to set a little goal for yourself for the week ahead. Could just be something very simple, like you want to practice kindness to those in the household with you, or practice some self-love. Or it could be an actual physical goal you want to achieve around the house, or maybe in your career if you're still lucky enough to be able to work during this time. But try and just choose one thing, and then focus on that. And let any other thoughts just pass by, bringing your attention back to your goal, to your intention for the week ahead. Feel your shoulders relax away from the ears. And gently opening up your eyes. Good, well done guys, hope you enjoyed it. And I, oh no, and we will see you soon on the mat again, Yoshimi and I. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Thanks guys, see you soon.